Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire. We are in the Kahanga Palace on the upper floor where we have just recently spoken with Barati. Turned in a quest, a bounty quest, and got another one. Let's see, uh, Bounty O'Hara or something like that. Went and looked it up in between videos. And of course, I we had ready. a level for Palagina, which I went and claimed. And among the usual stuff here, let's just look at the most important thing, I guess. The new ability that we got, which is... Rejoice, my comrades, Two Fingers of Daylight, where uh, Palagina uses her two fingers for something magical. And <laughs> she has some sort of bouncing heel. Look at this. It's like an AoE bounce heel. I wonder if a target, right? Like, so if a target... Okay, so imagine we're, we're in combat. Adair is kind of at, like, half health, but no one else is damaged. If she launches this at Adair, will it hit Adair once bounce to someone else who doesn't even need health, it'll probably still extinguish a bounce, right? And then go back to Adair and heal him again? Will it do that, or does it, do you not get like, repeat customers? I'm not sure. What's well, two bouncing beams? Oh. Huh. So is that per beam? Hmm. So then, really, this would be like 68? Or almost 60, yeah, I guess 60 or 70 even if you round up, right? Hmm, yeah. Okay, which is pretty good. And then if it bounces again, it'll be 140. Ready. Of course. All right, neat. Let's see. Let's head on upstairs, though, before we head on out of the Kahanga Palace. Because remember, we went by Queen Onikaza and saw that she actually had a little bit of dialogue that had not been grayed out, right, for whatever reason. And I feel like maybe I decide not to talk to her because we talked to her as part of the quest and like force that dialogue on us. And I just assumed that we had extinguished all of her dialogue or exhausted all of it, right? But in reality, we need to talk Damn. to her again, like some sort of Dark Souls maneuver. All right, let's see. Queen Onikaza II. Let's do a quick save in case she gets really mad. They tell me Hasongo is still cloaked in shadow. Onikaza raises her brow and gestures for you to speak. You keep interesting pets, Highness. Fine beasts, are they not? Gifts from the Wapua, a tribe of proud animal trainers. I could have sworn we asked her about her pets before. I named them Kohopa and Tangaloa, which makes the priests very unhappy. She grins to herself. Aruihi thinks I should feed my enemies to them alive and screaming. Ikira... I have given it thought. Jesus. She pats Tangaloa on her head. On her head. Not content to let the attention go astray, Kahopa shifts over until his ears are under the queen's fingers. And aren't these the dual aspects of Barath? Yeah. Rikuhu. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, okay. So we know, like, the pallid knight or whatever and... The little man, or something like that. <laughs> something along those lines. The pallid lady? The pale lady? No, the pale lady is someone else. Alright. You've been in my head since we first- Oh, we can flirt with her. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a flirt. Alright. Tell me about Nekataka. Nekataka is older than our memory. We found the great city in ruins, and the Kahanga have spent generations replacing every cracked stone. Who built Nekataka? Akuana, of course. The mark of our ancestors runs deep. I know, I've been pretty far down. Walls and districts are not how we would build a city today. But this place has echoes of the past. And our future, I say, if we can but reach to grasp it. Hmm. Interesting lines there. Alright, this is a Juana city, but the trading companies are both represented here. Hmm. Onikaza considers your reflection. Nodding. The Valians were very forthright in their desire to carve out a permanent outpost, I say. Does that mean they paid a lot? When cannon shot echoed across the seas, the Crown opened negotiations with Rawatai's Armada, a healthier alternative to war. Oh, and they intimidated, I see. My brother thinks I am too lenient with our visitors. I say, I will accept. Even this uneasy balance. I mean, I'm sure she's making some sort of profit off of it, huh? All right. Based on what we've seen in the gullet. Okay, back to my other First, questions. a question of my own. Oh. 
Onikaza steeples her fingers and observes you closely. This city is not how the tribes would live. Walls stand between neighbors and the beach is too far to walk comfortably. There are angles of this city I cannot see from my garden. What place has Nekataka in the great pattern of the dead fire? Oh shit. Nekataka is the future, a path ahead for the Huana. If this city is a reflection of the past, it's a poor one. I've seen what lies at the bottom. It isn't pretty, Highness. You occupied this place, which you found but did not build. Time will tell if it is a good fit. To be honest, I'm still getting my bearings. Now let's talk about um, how shitty she treats the folks in the gullet. Like what a fucked up system. Yeah, I've seen what lies at the bottom. It isn't pretty, Highness. Bottoms seldom are, I say. Akira, my thanks for your perspective. I say you give me much to consider. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Why do you put up with the trading companies? Because we are the shrub in the shadow of an old growth. Onikaza looks away and sighs through her nose. Even the gods may protest, but this city blooms from the wealth of foreigners. I mean, this part of the city, right? <laughs> There's a part of the city that does not, that really does not. Aruihi would have me force them back to their ships. I say it is better to feed my allies under a single roof. Huh. Like, I might be, I might even be down for that line of thinking if, oh my god, look, our dog has merged with a giant cat. <laughs> All right, but I might even be down with that line of thinking if, if also the folks in the gullet were treated better, right? The, like, the whole Raparu cast is just treated like fucking shit. All right. Hmm. Yeah, farewell. Let's see. Let's head on out. There we are. And let's see. What other places do we need to turn in bounties at? Let's see. Definitely we have to go to Queen's Barrett, but we want to do that last. Was it Brass Citadel? Let's see. No, we are right. We still need to do that one. Yeah, Brass Citadel. Okay. And a Boko what in the Wild Mare is Okay, at Queen's Barrett. Okay, good. So let us head on out. We can't just fast travel from here, can we? Yeah, we actually have to. Alright. I'm thinking we do a little shopping as well around the Queen's Birth, right? Uh, While we're there, of we'll look around at um, some of the ship stuff. There we go. At least, like, upgrade our hull. Maybe get another cannon. Alright. Let's see. And check on the prices of the next ship, right? That'd be good. Let's head on up. Or head on down, I should say. I might even write down the prices of the ships, that way we can kind of keep in mind what we're working with here, right? That way, once we've reached a certain threshold, because I do want a buffer, right? We definitely want some sort of buffer in case there's a quest that asks for some degree of money, right? We want that on hand, because it's happened before. I'm sure it'll happen again. Okay, let's see now. Where do we go on out? Over this way. There we are. Yep, we're already sped up. Good, good, good. Now there weren't- no, there was a vendor out here in Serpent's Crown, wasn't there? Just a plain vendor. Like a street merchant stall. We should check that out as well. Now that we do have money to work with, we may as well check it out. It's probably a good bet. Hmm. I'm wondering if we should buy that Archibus. Remember the Archibus for sale in the Brass Citadel? At that, uh, firearms shop? buy it for Maya. Could do. Could definitely do that. Then again, we might find something good Shame as well. Shame I wanted that animancy draw. My mind would have cut Theos's plot to bloody ribbons. Indeed. It's a wonder we ever stopped Theos without you. Don't let it discourage, lad. Odd wage of silver you can keep up. How generous of you. <laughs> oh, they're very good. Oh, they are very good. Alright. Let's see. Una's Luxuries. Let's head on over here. There we go. And let's see. Oh yeah, they're closed. Right. So let us wait a bit. Let's wait until... A little bit morning, right there. I'm assuming during morning shops will be open. Yeah, there we go. Is that you? Oh no. Oh gosh. Where's the shopkeeper? Oh no. Yeah, let's wait until midday then. 
No, no good. Oh, where's the shopkeeper? Oh, I wanted to buy some stuff. Una's Luxuries. Is this not the place? Oh, God. Where's Una gone? Una's fucking out of here. You must have sailed far to come here. You're not Una. No. Dude, Una fucked off. Alright, let's also fuck off then. Head on back to Brass Citadel. Let's see. There we go. And, oh gosh, where do we want to go to? Hang on. Let's see. This, we have to turn in a Scylla Wave Skipper at the Brass Citadel, and oh yeah, it doesn't say exactly where. Fleet Master, so probably in a place, yeah, in like their big command center or whatever. Alright. Yeah, Command Lower? Imperial Command? Huh. Imperial Command. Let's go for it. Jesus, three hours. Alrighty. There we go. No interruptions this time either. Okay, did you notice down in the bottom right of that, uh, of the city map, it also has a whole bunch of different... It has like a whole bar for different ships. Ooh, exciting. Definitely want to buy one. But I'm not sure if we can this time. We'll at least be able to buy some sort of rudimentary upgrades. Part of me wants to just skip the... The shit upgrades, right? And just go straight for the good stuff? Tell me, of course. Alright, I mean, I guess we can resell it, but you sell it back at a loss, don't you? Alright. Let's see, where's our friend at? In here, maybe? With... What's her name? No. What exactly was her name? It, de it definitely wasn't that. Yeah, Wakeyo. Alright. You in here? No. In here training, maybe? Weapon Master? No. Did we ever speak to the Weapon Master? We've got to be ready for anything. Alright. Let's see. Huh. Wakeyo well, isn't this person. Yeah. Alright. I guess in the lower level, then. You must Let's gather your party before venturing forth. There we are. Yeah, we'll look around down here. Gosh, they may not even be in the command center. No, surely! Their name was like Fleet Commander Wakeyo or whatever. Let's see. How about Atsura's office? With him. He's straightforward to me. Are we talking about the same Atsura? Huh. They always have something to say about Atsura here. Okay, maybe here in the jail area? No. Okay. Man, where is this Wakeyo dude? There's that Sura. Oh god. I have no idea. Maybe they're just in the overworld, right? Maybe that's it. Oh look, we can break into this now. Alright. Let's see. No lockpicks required. My, eyes be open. my fingers be fat and furry. Easy breezy wet. There we go. A lot of money. The money and gem. Take it. What for, Cap? I. There we are, and we'll head on back up, I guess. Yeah, I guess dude isn't here. Oh, no, wait. Ooh, look, we can exit out here. Ah. There we go. All right. Huh. I'm wondering if we should stop at... Because there was also a bunch of stuff that we could have gotten. It's really... It looks pretty good at... Um, what do you call it? At the Magic District. Whatever that's called, I forget. At the dark cupboard or whatever. There was a shield or something over there as well. I think they even had a magic smithy, didn't they? Stuff there worth checking out. Oh shit, we're in the hell zone. Doubt in the gods, how can you believe animancers are any more responsible? The gods have never done right by me. Animancers have. Even a little responsibility is better than none at all. You place too much faith in them. Given the same license, they'll be just as bad. Man. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess they would both be very cynical about a lot of shit. Alright, considering what they've been and are going through, right? Hmm. And especially Aloth. I mean, pfft. I mean, even Palagina. We've seen shitty Animancers before. Right? And I guess Palagina's argument is that she. that. 
sure, there's some shitty Animancers, but there's also good ones, like the ones that we met here in Deadfire. A little, a little bit of a dingus group, but certainly no lead and key situation. Whereas all the gods so far... Well, no, some of the gods seem all right, right? Like, Hylia seems okay, which is ironic considering... Hylia is the one that... Dead fire's so different than what I'm used oh. to. Well, must be for you, too. Ugh. Quite different. Even I am not accustomed to this much sailing. They, uh... They seem to hold the godlike in high regard. You ever think about staying? The dukes have liberated me from the burden of making that choice, Adair. Damn. Huh. Interesting. All right. Man, I wonder how things are going to end for Palagina here. Huh. All right. Let's see. Where would this fucking dude be at? Oh, maybe he was the guy up here. Remember, there were a whole bunch of dudes up here? Like, sort of singing and stuff at each other? Hang on, let's check this Orlin Peddler I've got real all quick. Sorts of good Take a look. See what you got. And Gauntlets of Ogre Might, Regeneration Ring, Charm Bones. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Eh, but it costs a bit much, doesn't it? All right. Maybe Fleet... Yes, Fleet Master! Hold up. Yeah, Fleet Master Wakoyo! All right. Oh my gosh, I'm a dumbass. Good God, I'm like the head of Team Dingus. <laughs> all right. We'll get this turned in, pick up the next one. Oh yeah, and we'll probably make a fair bit of gold off of this as well. Or Copper Pond, even. Johnny. And let's see. Oh, look, we can't even pick into Captain. this. Can Seraphin? No, he can't. Ahoy. All right. And back here? Ahoy. He can't do this one either? No. Man. Huh. I wonder if he could with drugs, right? If he used some drugs? Do we have, like, drugs that increase lockpick? Or mechanics, even? Let's see. Oh, what is this? Oh, the triumph that we got from the... Okay. Let's see, consumables, anything that would increase, let's see, can we just do potions? No. Well, maybe you can. Let's see. Potion? There we go. Yeah, it does totally work. Oh, no, wait, but potions aren't what we want. We want drug. Oh, maybe it's narcotic? No, drugs with an S. Oh, no, it doesn't work. All right. So, potions only shows ones that have potion in the actual name. Okay. Let's see. Invisible, mechanic. Here, maybe it shows... Okay, here, let's try this on for size. How about we want one that... Alright, so this, in this buffs up history. So, let's see if we can search for effects. History? No, we cannot. So, we def... Because we definitely know that we have one that buffs history. Alright. How about through here? Let's see. I don't think we have anything for mechanics, do we? Let's see, no. Survival, athletics. Hmm. Poison. Nah, I don't see it. Oh, wait. Yeah, we do. We have Thief's Putty. Alright. So that gives two mechanics. Which would put... Seraphin up to... Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, God. I want to exit that. I want to get out of this. There we go. So it gives two. Uh, which would put his mechanics at... Okay, that's still not enough. Huh. Alright. Yeah, he would still need one more. Okay. Well, let's try and what go on over here and just Ahoy. talk to this fucking dude. Right? My favorite privateer. Clear skies. Wakoyo crosses his arms over his chest. You don't have to worry about a Scylla wave skipper anymore. Pirates are adept at scattering when threatened. But this makes planting your boot on the neck of a straggler all the sweeter. Jesus Christ. Wakoyo counts on a out a bag of coins and presents it with one arm crossed over his chest. I would right. keep my privateer busy. You will speak to me when you are ready for work, yes? Yeah, I am ready for more. What bounties do you have available? Your target is Radolf. 
a valiant captain and seeker of lost ruins. There is no wicked length he would not go to plunder the dignity of these isles. Lakoya's fists tighten. I'll take the My bell. My confidence swells to hear of this, Captain. Radolf commands the Galleon Gold Bell the and Galleon. seeks for ruins east of Nekataka, on the southwestern tip of the Kua Orokuhu island chain. All right. Farewell. Let's head Ahoy. on out then. Ahoy. Done and done. Are. Well, I guess if we... Hmm. No, because look, Skipper's Stay doesn't give mechanics. Yeah, if we had an inn that could do it, I'm not sure if it's worth the trouble, right? I mean, for all we know, it's just like a pistol in there. Alright. Well, here, let's buff it up one more. Once we get up to ten, we should be good to go. Alright. And then... Well? Because what would the party assist me? Yeah, look. Eleven. We could do it. With party assist, we could totally do it. Huh. Should we have Seraphin take some drugs? <laughs> maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Alright, here, let's take more insight. Good. Alright, ability for one class. Let's see. I think Barbarian, we've already got good actives, right? Crushing Blow could be good later. I'm not too sold on the yell, though. Right? That's more of a melee barbarian thing, isn't it? Because it's a PBAOE. Or point blank AOE, I should say. Alright. Whereas all the frenzy stuff, yeah, we can upgrade frenzy to get pretty decent. And was it Savage Defiance? Robust? Self buff? Yeah, it looks like for barbarian tanking. Gotcha. Okay. And leap. Yeah. Panther's leap. Alright. No sort of whirlwind. Oh no, wait, maybe this is it. A large, rage imbued weapon at their target, exploding into a ball of fire. Nah, no whirlwind. Alright. And let's see. Ain't no Diablo. Bloodlust. Per kill. Eh, I mean, that's okay, but it's not my top priority. Alright. One stands alone. Melee damage? No. No dice. Alright, we could get thick-skinned, which would be alright. Two weapon style, that's good. Accurate carnage, hmm. Nah, I think we... Yeah, let's check Cypher. Oops. Oh god. There we go. UI lagged a bit. Okay, Psychic Backlash. Yeah, Stun, that seems good. That does seem good. Because chances are we'll have an AoE pop off, right? Huh. I'm kind of tempted by it. Let's see, and over here, weapon and shield style, nah. Iron will. Ooh. I mean, that's useful. Let's see. 10% outgoing affliction duration. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do we have here? What could we use here that's good? Pain Link, Fractured Volition, Weaken and Hobbled is pretty nice. But do we already have someone applying Weakened and Hobbled? Or at least Weakened, I think we do, don't we? Let's see, we could grab this tougher Bouncing Thrust, right? Because we have Mind Blades, which are pretty useful. Yeah, we could do this. Let's see, what's the range on it? Five? Yeah, that's good for him. Pierce damage violently pushing them backward. Oh, bounce of psychic energy harmlessly off an allied target. Okay, gotcha. Secret horrors. Yeah, if anything, I would probably go with secret horrors, because that seems wild as hell. Right? Let's see. They've got the tenuous grasp, which is quite useful as well, because of shaken. So that's targeting Will. And this also targets Will. Let's see, Ice Strike. That's good, but Alath has a lot of blind. He has normal blind and the... What do you call it? The... Fog. Phantom Foes. Hmm. Could be useful. But I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. 
Let's see. Let's check, because flanked... Well, it does decrease armor rating, doesn't it? Yeah. Because I was saying, like, deflection... Gunning through deflection isn't going to be much of a problem, is it? Because we already have a whole lot of stuff like that. Steadfast... No. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Fractured Volition? No, we already checked that. What's one that looks like it would hurt armor? If any. Charm, Mind Wave. Deal some damage. No. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe we go with... Secret Horrors, because Frightened and Sickened is pretty useful, isn't it? Yeah, like, Frightened alone is quite good. 15 seconds. But he can build that up quite quick. Huh. Yeah, maybe we go with that. Maybe we do that. Hobbled and Weakened. I, I feel like that's... Garbo. Especially given our usual party makeup. Hang on, do we want to invest ahead of time? Psychic Backlash, it does this. Okay. So it inflicts damage on them as well. Which is alright, you know? That's alright. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe we pick this up. You know what? We're doing it. Frightened and sickened. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking good. Look at that, minus three all power levels. And cannot use hostile abilities. Goodness. Gosh, yeah, you could really keep someone on lockdown if you're just able to reliably apply Frightened. We're doing it. There we go. Worst case, we respect. Re we respect later. Captain. Alright. What for, Cap? Now, do we want to do some drugs? <sighs> no, we can't, because look, that's lock 15. So we would only get to... Yeah, we would only get to 14. I mean, we could do this, which is 12. Hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't do it yet. We should hold off until we can also get the... This thing here. I mean, unless you think he's got a key on him. Yeah. You think he's yeah. got a key? Hang on. I see not can I see sneak him. around here? Oh, yeah, I can. Huh. Let's see if this guy has a key. His friend may detect me, though. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. We may as well use a spark cracker here. Let's quick save and try and spark cracker it, right? There we are. Who has one? I definitely have one. Alright. And here, let's give them to Seraphin, right? Let's have Seraphin use them down there. I'll have them use them down there. Boy. There we go. Speed that up. And then, we'll have him throw it sort of right here, and we should be able to just sneak around and grab shit. Right? There we go. Good. Now they're all looking that way. Oh, he does! Dope! Oh my god, look at that. Perfect. Sure. And it only cost a little fucking doohickey. Oh shit, we're still in... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright. We could probably even steal from this bodyguard now. Look, everyone's like looking around all over the place. Oh shit, why'd I go down this way? Alright. Leave it to me. Look at that. I can't s <laughs> I have to go up. I guess the drawers are technically there, aren't they? Alright, that's fine. We'll just wait for this to cool down. Then. No, I still can't get it. Fucking A. Alright. Hmm. Do we need to throw another spark bomb? Or spark cracker, even? Maybe. God, I miss those gloves. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do another Boy. one. Alright. There we go. And we'll throw it right there. Good. Why not? Head on over here. That. And then in here. Oh, shit. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's no good. Oh, for fuck's sake, here. Let's load. Oh, God, how far back are we? Oh, no. Hopefully I quick save before I did this bullshit. Oh, no. Still, it was a good call to do this. Man, you know what? We should just pick up those gloves, shouldn't we? We should just buy those damn gloves. Those gloves were so good. Just being able to do spark crackers left and right. That was so useful. Unless, do you think we can have Aloth fire off a spell of some sort and do that? To the same effect? Huh. Maybe. We should, we should check that. We should definitely check that. Oh god, how far back are we? Oh god, have I made a terrible mistake. Oh no, I've made a good mistake. Alright, Aloth, can you actually fire off a spell or something like that? Let's see here. So if he just, like, shoots this onto the ground... No, okay. How about if he just... Aloth, can you do any sort of weird distraction? Just freak people out? Do, like, a dimensional shift? No? <laughs> How about if you throw down some... Can he blind people without getting them in combat? <laughs> like, they won't know what happened? Hmm. Can he shoot, like, lightning over here? And they'll be like, what the fuck? Oh, look, it shows the direction in which he'll bounce. Huh. So if we ricochet it like that... I mean, it should be fine, shouldn't it? It'll just hit our friends. Yeah, here. Hey, let's try it like this. I trust you. <laughs> this I is ready. a terrible idea. No, because they'll bounce multiple times. That's terrible. Yeah, let's not do that. Hmm? All right. Let's see. So Don't let's worry. have Seraphin... Hmm? Oh, shit. We still gotta give Seraphin the bombs. All right. Here we go. Seraphin, take that. Good. Ahoy. Then, have him throw it right there. Good. Dope. And then I'll go on and this guy. Took it. Sure. Good. And then we can just unlock this thing. Oh god. If we can lose detection. There we are. Alright. We may be able to get them to face the other way, too. We'll see. Sure. Oh shit. All right. Let's see. Can I somehow... Man, whose detection radius am I even in? Oh, it's because of, look, his vision right there. I see. Okay, here. Let's get him to look down here. My favorite corner. privateer. I'm still running Redulf. Our enemies sow discord in the waves while you tarry. Wakoyo raises his brow and peers closer to make sure he has your attention. Let no one say aha, the lazy privateer. Seek your target and be done. All right, all right, farewell. Let's see, can we have this guy look around? No, Rawatine Guard will not look another direction. My eyes right. are peeled. But still, this will give us an opportunity to sort of come over here. There we go. And we can just... Leave it to me. Check in here. There we go. Grab that. And then, do you think we can sneak right up here? Right by him? Let's do a quick save. And we'll try it out. Ooh! I mean, I can unlock it. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Oh. Here, we'll just have to throw down another... Who's a what's it? And... Pop it off right there. Huh? There we go. Why not? Good. No problem. Inside. And we're fine. What's this? Scroll of Blessing? <laughs> Man, this was not worth it. I mean, I guess at least those things are cheap, huh? Let's see, what's this? A replica of the Tanvi Oratoa, the Rawatine Book of Virtues. Okay. Leave it to me. Let's see. If I yeah, pop that, yeah, it. I don't get... They don't get pissed as shit. Okay. Fine. Yeah. It was worth looking, I guess. Alright. So now... We should head on over to Queen's Berth, right? Turn in the quest there. How much money did we get? 1,500, right? Yeah. God, part of me is tempted to just buy a ship. Oh, part of me is really tempted to just buy a ship. Hmm. I mean, we got the discount, right? We could get, like, a Voyager or a Dow. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. Let's see. Should we check out the gunsmithy real quick? 
Let's let's remind ourselves of how much this stuff costs. Let's see. There we are. I can't remember if we have a un I don't think we have a unique weapon for Maya yet. Do we? I think it's just mostly Yeah, we're just using like an exceptional archivist. Looking here. for a pistol or an archivist? See what you got. Dragon's dowry. Yeah, right. Isn't this the yeah, the burn damage one. Which is pretty nice. Oh, look, he sells cannons and stuff, and we get a 5% discount. Eh, we could buy a cannon if we wanted. Let's see. Huh. The Royal Bronzer seems best, right? How come Worm Tongue is kind of shitty? But so expensive. Hmm. It does 6 to 9 damage. Reload time, 5 turns. Oh, is it because it can be used point-blank if you wanted? Is that really worth it, though? Huh. Weird. I guess so. I guess that's the benefit, is that it can be used point-blank. Huh. Alright. Maybe we'll pass on that stuff for no now. Because we have a greater discount at Queen's Barth, don't we? After we did that deal with uh, the shipwright. And... The Principe. Only your people have traveled as widely as ours. Who are my people? Dear Woodens or something? Or maybe Wood Elves, right? Maybe. Okay, let's exit west to Queen's Barth. Actually, let's quick save. See, look, got a whole bunch of slots for ships. Ship management there too. Okay, let's see. Let's do a quick save. And actually, we can check right here, can't we? Yeah. Oh, we could get a Voyager. Oh, we could get one. But should we? Should we, though? We probably shouldn't buy a Blackwood hull, right? Because we can just upgrade. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Look, Imperial Long Gun. A double bronzer. Oh my gosh, it's double fucking barreled. Oh! An Adir Channel Gun. Adir Wooden Hog Nose. I think that's what we have by default. Hmm. Let's see. I'm kind of tempted to just get double bronzers because they look cool as hell. They take forever to reload, though. And look, there's only a 100 meter zone of... Making them eat shit. Whereas Iron Thunderer... I mean, there's a lot of... You get a lot of freedom there to... You get 300 meters. Huh. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, we could just buy, like, Vithrak sails or something, right? Yeah. Increase our speed. Yeah, we could- oh, look. Magranite Flamethrower. Or Fire Thrower. Jeez, that's really close. Hmm. Alright. Ha ha ha. And here they have the Worm Tongue, which is cheaper, because we have the 10% off. Or we could just buy a Voyager! We could just buy one! Let's see, hit chance... I don't really think I want to use a junk, because I'm not... I mean, I'd like to buy one, but I don't really want to use it. Because I don't pr like the way they look. <laughs> Alright. We could buy a... a doho. Huh. Oh, look. How come the Voyager does not have stats for turn to starboard and stuff? Yeah, interesting. Maybe it only has one... one turn to do that. Right? Could be. Hmm. We could get these... Oh, look. Dragonwing or Mage Weave. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Part of me wants to just stock up on Iron Thunderers, right? I quite like how they have this large range. Because as, as cool as these look, and as much damage as they deal, you only have 100 meters, whereas this has three times as much that you can fire from. Right? Yeah, both of them, in fact. 
Huh. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, we could also mix and match, couldn't we? If we really wanted to. But maybe not on this little ass ship, right? Maybe not on this ship. Maybe that's a bad idea. Huh. Yeah, I think that's a bad idea. On our ship? Fuck that. Let's go to Queen's Birth. Alright, we want to go to... Where was that? The Wild Mare. Yeah. Because if we mix and match on our ship, we, we only have... Two... Oh, shit. We only have two cannon slots per... Uh, side, don't we? Per broadside. Uh, you are traveling the streets of Nagataka when you hear the familiar voice nearby. Who? Familiar voice? Huh. Who could it be? Maybe it's, um... I don't know. One of Dario's people? Something like that? Who would we know? As you follow the winding streets of Nakataka, the usual city sounds of cartwheels against cobbles and shouting vendors' fades, replaced by the cacophony of a heated argument on the verge of boiling over. One of the voices rings familiar, Rum Dum Rigere, from the Defiant. Oh, shit. Let's see, let's sneak closer to observe in case we need to, like, help him out and, like, beat the shit out of someone. As you round the corner, you see Rumdum Rigere, surrounded by a group of unfamiliar soldiers. From their dress, you don't believe they're locals. They shout at Rumdum Rigere, who returns the yelling with interest, though you can't make out the actual matter of the argument. One of the sailors shoves Rumdum Rigere against a wall and the hand of another thug lingers dangerously near his weapon. Alright. Huh. We could try and catch him by surprise, or approach openly. Let's approach openly, fuck it. Let's see. Rumdum Rigere's eyes meet yours and widen. Captain, thank the gods I could use a hand here! Captain? The unfamiliar sailor scowls as she looks you over. You should teach your sailors better manners. This son fool got sick all over our boots. Her compatriots nod, eyes searching you. A look, a druid check. Can we just like druid away the vomit? Give 320 copper. Perhaps a few coins will clear this all up. Diplomacy check. Sorry about my mate's behavior, but I can't let you make them unfit to serve. I don't suppose an apology would suffice. Intimidate check. If you don't know who I am already, you will soon. You do not want to cross me. Nobody messes with the Defiant. Prepare to answer for it. Leave. Seems to me Rum Dum Ruggiere is getting what they've earned. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What are our stats? Do we have higher diplomacy? We've got five diplomacy. Our intimidate is ten. Ooh. Or is that for us doing it? Would we be intimidating? I mean, still, we'd have a good bonus. Fuck it. Intimidate. Oh, shit. Watch her only. Let's see. Diplomacy? Yeah, fuck me. Oh, God. I don't want to actually do it. Huh. Let's see. We could try and apologize, I guess. Because that might be an easier check to pass. Fuck it. Let's try and apologize. Watch her only check. There we go. A perfectly reasonable way to resolve matters. Aloth looks brightly between the aggrieved parties. Oh my god, we succeeded! The sailors turn to one another and one nods. She looks to Rum Dum Rigere. Let's hear it. Rum Dum Rigere gives you a sad glance, then looks back to the woman. Sorry, ma'am. What was that? The other sailors snicker. Sorry, ma'am. The woman salutes you, then turns on her heel. The sailors walk away. Ah, oh, alright! Oh, so we did get a party assist. Okay. I was worried there. Alright, good. We got a little morale. Rum Dum Ruggiere approaches you, grinning openly. Thanks, Captain. You truly saved me just now. Return to the Defiant, Sailor. Cause me trouble again, and it'll be you- It'll be me you're cringing from. I get out of my sight. Be more careful. Next time I might not be there to save you. Yeah, be more careful. Yes, Captain. Rum Dum Ruggiere heads off towards the ship, whistling along the way. Oh, all right, cool. We didn't have to. <laughs> we uh, 
thank goodness we didn't draw our weapons and attack them over him barfing on their fucking shoes. All right. Oh my gosh, very loud. Oh my gosh, again? You're traveling the slums of Nakataka when the streets suddenly become barren. Oh my god. Whoa, look at this, where are we? The cliffs, high above, block all sight of the stars from the narrow alleys and tunnels of Nakataka's ghettos. The cliffs, high above- oh, okay. The reek of rotten fruit mixes with the noisome scent of dead fish, swaddling you along with a hundred other, lesser filthy fragrances. Your footsteps echo in the darkness, piercing the otherwise silent slums. Feels like- feels like we're missing something, like people. Adair scans the empty street. Ooh. You turn a corner and walk into a plaintive cry. Help! Misshapen shadows mix with the low hissing and skittering of claws on filthy stone to resolve into a pack of skulder. Their glistening maws float in the back and cave grubs wriggle about their legs, mandibles snapping as if to mangle the air. Oh shit. On the far side of the creatures, a small girl, dressed in the rags of Hawana, grips a gleaming sword in both hands. She brandishes it wildly at the skulder, each swing of the blade releasing a howl that keeps the beasts at bay. They creep ever closer to her, however, and her eyes plead with your own. Please! Hmm. Get out of here, get out of here kid! I'll take care of these beasts. Dexterity affliction. Oh, we don't have one. I guess it's for just the Watcher, right? Huh. We can sneak, use the girl as a distraction, and ambush the creatures. Gosh, but won't she die? Draw the beast's attention. Let's try and draw their attention. Oh, here we go, yeah. Not just a Watcher check. Alright. Adair, start dancing. With a resounding shout, Adair rushes into the fray. The Scolder flinch and turn on your party. They growl hungrily as they charge forward. All right, let's fucking get him. Should be easy enough. I wonder if it's like a magical sword that we can get from her as well. From the girl? Maybe she'll give it as a reward or something. Probably not. Probably if we wanted the sword, we should have snuck and let her die. <laughs> as fucked up as that is, right? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you actually going to try and fight? Oh, my God. We distracted him for nothing. All right. Here we go. <laughs> God, they look disgusting, don't they? All right, let's see, we're buffing up. Let's have Aloth speed up real quick. Same goes for our friend Seraphin here. And let's get out some of our worms over here. There we go, Adair's charging in. Jesus, she is going to get fucking killed up there. All right, here, let's see if we can't get some of this going on. Oh god, we should probably embiggen it, right? There we go. We'll cast it right there. And then... Oh yeah, what is our mode we request? Is it just damage or is it damage against Kith? Okay, against Kith. Alright, let's swap. And we will fire away at this creature, right? Okay. Good. I dare go after the creature. There we are. Okay. And Seraphin, let's see. We could have Seraphin wait and charge up his ship for an attack. A uh, secret horrors, right? I think that's a good idea. All right, so let's target the Screecher here. And we'll use a Barbaric Blow. There we are. Good. Algina's still summoning out her shit. There we are. And then, Aloth, let us throw down some of this. Let's make it huge. Affect some more of them. Now, hopefully, this girl, once this Skulldrak dies, she doesn't go running right through the AoE. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Have them attack the Skulldrak. Good. And then, Palagina, run in and get the. Huh, let's just get this Cave Grub right here. That's not very there we are. Dope. And then, Aloth. Should we have him throw down a blind or something? We could do a noxious burst. You know what, let's... Let's debuff them all again. There we go. We probably should have started with that, but eh. What can you do? Alright. And then... Let's go for the Screecher. There we are. Helpful. 
Let's see, what's her health at? She's healthy, it says. Very helpful. Okay, let's see. Was this ancient memory? And let's try this one. Let's swap to A. There we go. How's a dare doing? Can have him heal himself up. This is futile. <laughs> Look at her heels ticking. It's pretty good. All right. And then let us fire away at. Let's see. Let's, let's keep going this. for the screecher. <laughs> there we go. Let's swap. Fire off again. Can't make a dent. There we are. Swap again. You know what? We'll hit this other skull drag, right? Let's hit with a finishing shot. There we go. Good. And let's have Aloth lay down some... Ooh, we could do tentacles. We could do... We could do all sorts of fun stuff. How about we try... Huh. Well, are they all blinded? They are chill-fogged. All right. Huh. We could try a malignant cloud, right? Down here. Well, now let's let's embiggen it. That way it affects all of them. There we go. I cannot whack him any harder. Good. Are they gonna wipe out that skull drag? Yeah, there we go. Oh, Adair got poisoned. And venom bite. Yeah, antidotes are just really unnecessary. Nice hit. All right. Let's swap back to this shit. Let's fire a basic ass hobble Take off. This. Oh god, she's running else. through it. <laughs> oh god. She's running through it! Alright. Let's see, let's throw a heal on her. No, we cannot. Oh my god, she's going to die. She's just going to die. Let's see. If we target it like this. Fuck it. Let's see let's what go. we can do. Gina. But if you have any <laughs> Oh my god. Do you see how it reflected and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Went all over the damn place, didn't it? All right. Let's see. I think we're doing fine, though. Let's see. Let's swap weapons again here. And let's get this cave rub. All right. And Palagina, no, you still... Yeah, you just can't heal her. Here, Palagina, try and go closer. Oh, she's like caught that? on a dare. All right. Whew. There we go. Maybe she'll join our crew or something. You, but I'm slowly dying of poison. Sorry, Adair. I am ready. There we go. Let's grab all this stuff up real quick. Some ears. The tattered ear of a scolder. Venom sack. Yep, larvae, fang. Okay, all stuff we've seen before. Yoinking it up. Uh. Alright. What's up, kid? Let's see. Should we try and pick or pock? Quickly and quietly. We should. We might be able to get that good sword. <laughs> you know, it's fair. We saved her. We get a sword, don't we? Save a person, get a sword. There we go. Oh, she doesn't have anything. All right, Kusi. The girl panting before you, draped in tattered Raparu robes, bears a few bruises and cuts, but looks otherwise unharmed. Beads of sweat commingle with trickling blood on her forehead. Finally relaxing, she lowers the sword she's been swinging, letting the edge rest in the dirt. The pommel bears the form of a dog's head. Thanks, stranger. Don't think I could have made it without you. Kusi smiles, eyes gleaming in the gloom. What were you doing here? Or out here? That's quite the sword you've got there. You look like you had it handled. I just swept in to help clean up. You're lucky you're not dead. Say nothing. Uh, let's be a fucking rogue-ass pirate-ass motherfucker. You look like you had it handled. I just swept in to help clean up. <laughs> I doubt it. Thanks for saying so all the same. Anyway, I think you should have this. For what you did, and for what you can do with it. Mmm, save a person, get a sword. She kneels, wipes the blood off of the blade, and slides it into its scabbard before proffering it to you. Oh, we can do a history check. Huh. Thank you. I'll use this blade well. You should keep your sword. I'll consider a payment for saving your skin. Yeah, thanks. I'll no, use it well. thank you for coming along when you did. And what's more, for helping. She bows her head. As you take the sword from her, the girl steps back. All right. Maybe, do you think she was like some sort of divine aspect? No, surely not. That, that never happens, does it? I can't remember. All right, let's see. Griffin's Blade. Let's see. What's it do? 
What kind of a sword even is it? It looks like a stiletto, doesn't it? But it's definitely not. Yeah, what kind of what kind of weapon is this? <laughs> is this a plain sword? I guess so, right? It must be. Surely. Okay. Let's see. Howling Blade, 50% chance to daze and target nearby enemies on crit. Oh my god! See, that's one that would synergize well with a Barbarian, huh? Grant's Loyal Companion. Let's see. The Spirit of Griffin bolsters the party's courage. Grant's steadfast to the wielder and nearby allies when the wielder is bloodied. Oh. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. So you don't actually get, like, a griffin. This bronze sword is not associated with a great smith, but with a modest artisan. The young craftswoman, noted for her talent at engraving and jewelry, received the unfinished blade from her local lord with a commission for a brass crossguard and pommel. Elated at the trust shown in her talents, the artisan worked tirelessly to complete the order. As she etched and polished... Her faithful dog, Griffin, stayed at her side, day and night. As days turned to weeks, the artisan began to forego food and sleep in her effort to fulfill her commission. When she became discouraged, Griffin, her ever-faithful companion, was there to encourage her with a nuzzle and a loving lick. One day while working, the artisan looked down at her feet to find her beloved canine companion cold and still. Oh, God. Griffin had died, curled at her feet, Faithful to the last. Heartbroken, the artisan decided to commemorate the hound on the piece into which she had poured into which she had poured her heart and soul. She crafted the pommel into Griffin's likeness, taking some comfort in knowing that when the Lord carried his sword, he too would always have a loyal companion at his side. Oh my god! Jesus, that Lord didn't deserve that. Jeez, you should have kept that little fucking pommel yourself. Fuck. All right, man, I wonder what the upgrades are, because that chance to daze on crit. Because it's target and nearby enemies. Good lord. So maybe that isn't too good with Barbarian, right? Because already it has the carnage effect. All right, thanks. I truly appreciate what you did. Not everyone in Nekataka steps in for a neighbor. I need to be getting back to Mother, though. She grimaces down at one of the dead Skulder. Man, do you think that... That sword ended up down here because wh whatever the, whoever the lord was, they just threw it down here and, like garbage. I probably shouldn't take home scalder meat, should I? She muses. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's good. Let's see. Let's take a look at the sword's enchants. Let's see. Yeah, it is a sword. One-handed. Okay. Let's see. Enchant. Oh, look. Howling blade. Oh, look. So it stacks. Extra damage with spells. Less damage from melee. Action, speed, and reflex. Wow! This is just good for everyone, isn't it? Yeah. So, you can use it. It's great if you're some sort of wizard. It's good in that way. Or, if you are some sort of tank. Excellent. Or, if you're some sort of DPS. Huh. Honestly, maybe this is also good with... Yeah, DPS who are also casters. For extra action speed. That seems useful. Unless it's only... Actions that make use of the sword, like a full attack or whatever. Could be. Alright. Interesting stuff. Griffin's Blade. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Got it. And let's see. Let's head on out. Should we look around these other areas though, real quick? Let's see. What's over here? Oh, nothing. Alright. Let's see. Can we finally get out of the Brass Citadel? Good God, we've been here forever. Let's see. The Wild Mare. I'd love to go there. I'd love to see what it's all about. I've never been. <laughs> All right. Oh, we finally made it. Finally, we can turn in our fucking bounty and get another one. <laughs> Good God. All right. And maybe in between videos, we'll, I'll look through buying stuff, right? Since we'll be in Queen's Barth anyway. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'll position us out by the vendor dude. Just in case we get some random dialogue or whatever. That way that doesn't play in between videos and it ends up being missed. Wouldn't want that. Gosh. Part of me wants some of these companions that we won't ever have together to be together. Like, imagine what some of the dialogue between 
Palagina and Jody, right? Because Jody is totally zealous as hell. And Palagina, although she's a paladin, she's become fucking jaded as hell. Oh, man. All right. Just too many good ass companions this mm -hmm. time around. Sure. All right. And their interactions are so good, too. All right. Who are we looking at? Yeah, Aboko. I remember your name. Ado, my hunter. To what do I owe this delight? Aboko raises his tankard and winks. Give Meryl's head. Or Muriel's head. She joins the goddess of death in the beyond. My first bounty to pay off. An exciting day for us both. Aboko passes you a small pouch of coins. All right, cool. Maybe it's not much, but as I make more deals, more pyres will be available, Luck. All right, yeah. So what bounties do you have available? Ah, I finally managed to land the rights to a bounty of value. You may not like it. There is a thirsty drake who roosts near an oasis northeast of Magia Island. An important site for refilling canteens. Mm. The local tribes call him Purakeo, after a sea dragon of legend. Even so, they have no love for this water thief. All right, I'll return with his head. Farewell. Sounds good. Got it. All right, let's head on out, and let's get to the vendor dude, right? Our shipwright guy. That way, I sort of in between videos, I can just sort of look through stuff. I'm thinking we get the Imperial... No, not the Long Watch. The bronzed one that has, like, the tip that's covered in bronze or gold or whatever that was. Because that seems more all-purpose. Maybe to, at a certain point, we'll get... We'll get, like, um... I don't know, how many cannons can you have on some of the better ships? I'm, I'm not sure. Because eventually I'd like to get the Galleon. I'd assume four, right? At least four. So you could have three that are more all-purpose, right? That have large ranges, and then one that's has a small range, but it'll do a shitload extra damage, right? That might be a tactic with one of the more agile ships, right? Because, of course, a galleon is not going to be fucking agile. But it looks so cool. Huh. Like the... What is it? The Voyager? Yeah, how many cannon slots does the Voyager have? Because if you can maneuver really well with it, you could get ones to have... Sure. Um, the massive dead zones to where, like, you have to get into the sweet spot really carefully. And it's easier to maneuver it, so you're more likely to hit that shit off, right? Let's see. Probably a fun tactic you could employ. But honestly, I want a fucking Galleon. <laughs> <laughs> That's I just want it. I want that. It looks cool. It looks so cool. All right. Gosh, when is that? When's that Ubisoft pirate game coming out? It got delayed. The oh, fuck. I kind of want that. I want to play some of that. All right. There we go. And let's just double check. It's Kata, right? Kata recognizes a friend. He winks at Kata's you. Kata's just making sure no one bothers our friend. Oh, right, okay, yeah, we've heard this before. Let's see Zamar. You again? Let's see your wares. And, okay, yeah, good. Good, good. Now, I was thinking of the Blackwood Hole, but we can buy that, or we can make that ourselves, can't we? Let's see, crafting. It's special or something? Unique, maybe? Yeah, Blackwood Hole. Yeah, we can craft it with Blackwood Logs. They're quite rare, though. For 64 grand. Huh. How much does it cost here? You again? Oh, Let's see. Come. What? <laughs> Hold up! Hold the fucking phone! Why is it cheaper here? What? Is this like some kind of fucking scam? So this is 15, 15 speed, 15 hull. And, okay, 15 combat, 15 hull, 15 tra or 5 travel. 15, 15, 5. So then this one, it's still the same, right? 15, 15, 5. What the fuck? Is that our 10% discount, I guess? You again? Ugh. But still, you would think that finding the materials yourself would lower the cost. Like, I'm assuming this would be 64,000, right? So if you had the materials yourself, the Blackwood Hole, this would be low enough to where... Or the crafting it yourself would be l the cheapest way, right? You would expect that. But it seems like it's exactly the same 
if not more, because you have to spend the Blackwood wood. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah, we'll probably buy some sort of some sort of bullshit here. We'll at least get like a deer and hole treatment, stuff like that. I'm not so sure about the cotton weave sails though. I don't like ones that have detriments, especially since our little ship doesn't have too much in the way of sail health already, right? God, the junk is very powerful, but good lord. Look, we can get details on it as well. Huh. All right. Eight crew for that fucking thing. My god. All right. Yeah, I'm very tempted to just get the Voyager. I'm so fucking tempted. When next we come back, we may have a Voyager. <laughs> we may just have one. All right. Because I do want to own them all at some point, honestly. I wonder if... Oh, can we send off, like, some of our crew to do stuff in our extra ships? We can't do that, can we? Could we? Can we, like, have... Like, while we're away, could we have a companion captain it? And sail around and look for shit? Sort of like, you know, how you could generate money... From extra... Or not from extra stuff, but from Cadnua. Ooh, that would be cool. All right, when next we come back... We'll have figured something out with this ship situation, right? Until next time. Peace!